Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your seats because this is some ridiculously huge news. For those of you that don't know, over the course of the last 36 hours or so, there have been a lot of leaks that have been dropping or rumors, I guess, that have been dropping in regards to upcoming LEGO sets, particularly some of the larger sets that we'll be releasing. This is across all lines, by the way, not just Marvel, not just DC, but across the board. And honestly, the one that I am most excited about is definitely the Batman animated series one. But I talked about that in a different video. This one is probably the one that I am second most excited for because it sounds incredible. Because finally, the X-Men are back in Lego form, or at least they might be back in Lego form. And what a way to bring back the X-Men. Now, for those that don't know, the reason why I'm saying bring them back is because, of course, the X-Men have appeared previously in LEGO form in two large-ish sets, I guess, which was the famous kind of helicopter battle scene with Deadpool, Wolverine, and Magneto, and then also the Sentinels versus the X-Men set that was much less well-received, let's put it that way, just because that Sentinel was definitely pretty terrible. However... Since then, of course, we've gotten Wolverine released a couple of times in, I think, Mighty Micros. And then also he was released as a mech just recently, and that did well and sold well. And now it sounds like the X-Mansion is on the way. That is going to be incredible should this pan out to be true. This would be an amazing addition to the previous release of the Daily Bugle and the Sanctum Sanctorum. Adding the X-Mansion to that would be absolutely wonderful. But what exactly did this rumor go on ahead and point out? Because we got a lot of very interesting information here for this particular set. So first and foremost, I do also want to go on ahead and pivot just slightly. To let you know that obviously this is just a rumor, but it's interesting that some of the other elements that have been part of this leak have now already been proven to be true, giving them even more and more credibility to say that this might be true as well. However, I also do want to go on ahead and make another slight aside and remind you guys that the X-Mansion actually was part of a previous LEGO Ideas release, and it did actually receive the 10,000 supporters that are necessary for review. However, it was not approved by LEGO itself to be released, and that was a really cool idea. It actually featured something that kind of resembles what this particular rumor sounds like, which is very interesting because, of course, this set was not approved, and yet, here's what the leak itself says. The headquarters of the X-Man measures 25 centimeters in height, 53 centimeters wide, and 17 centimeters deep. So, obviously, very interesting details to always be that specific. But here's the part that caught my eye. The two-story building is tan and dark tan and has a gray roof. And if we go back to the LEGO Ideas website and we check out that particular idea, that's kind of what that building is. It's tan and dark tan and has a gray roof. So it's interesting that those details are definitely present there. Now, it is a three-story building, kind of. It's two stories, and then you also have the roof. Plus, it had the underground layer that featured a lot of cool interior shots where you went ahead and actually saw the Cerebro or the Danger Room. And I think that's really cool, but it seems like this set will not actually have a room like that. However, I guess that's something that you could go on ahead and add yourself. Now, what else did we learn? Well, apparently this one is going to go on ahead and include at least nine minifigures, which is incredible. And the ones that were named specifically are Professor Xavier with the hover chair. So that's awesome. Magneto, Wolverine, Storm, Cyclops, Beast, Mystique, Sabretooth, and Emma Frost. So that is a very, very, very strong lineup for sure. I'm already very impressed by the character selection that is there. Unfortunately for the people that were hoping to get another retail release for Deadpool, it seems like he will not be included in this set. Hopefully at some point in the future, there will be another opportunity to add Deadpool into your collection for a reasonable amount of money, because right now it's obviously a very, very expensive minifig. They did go on ahead and also reveal that the current parts lineup for this set is going to be 3,122. So it is a pretty large set. Hence why the price range that was quoted is somewhere between 300 to $390. So probably settling somewhere in between that at 349.99 seems like a pretty reasonable point. Now, with that in mind, now the ball is in your court. Are you excited about the possibility of receiving a giant X mansion? 3,000 pieces, two floors, lots of details on the inside, and of course, as you can see, a who's who lineup of characters, both good 
and bad. I really do like that they went ahead and featured both, it seems like. So we do get some of the X-Men, but we also do get some of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants or like the Magneto team. I think that that is obviously a very, very exciting detail as well. Now, again, take this with a grain of salt, because of course, at this point in time, this is all just a rumor. However, once again, I will also mention that, of course, even though it is quote unquote just a rumor, it seems like some of the other reveals that were part of this particular leak have now been already confirmed. And I'm telling you guys, if some of these other sets are confirmed to be true, I think all fandoms are going to be very, very excited for all the upcoming Lego releases. Whether you are a fan of Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Marvel, DC, and maybe even some video game properties, I think you'll be very, very excited about all that is coming 